And some people will say, oh, pastor, why are you talking about happiness? The Bible doesn't talk about happiness. It talks about joy. It talks about joy. Let me, let me tell you. Uh, the, the word joy, because some people say, oh, joy is what Christians have. Even if I'm going through problems, even if I'm not happy at my place of job, it's about my attitude. I just need to have joy in my heart. Uh, let me tell you, if you do a very good Bible study, you find that there is no difference between joy and happiness. Just scrap it. <laughs> you know, the Bible does not discriminate in the use of its language between happiness and joy. And as we go these weeks, I will show you. Actually, joy, happiness, contentment, satisfaction is one package. So you cannot say, I am not happy in this uh, family because, but, but you know, the Bible binds me here and I'm just pushing days because it's my duty. I am not happy with this job, but I just have to do it because of money. And you know, the Bible just says that I should just have joy and joy is what is inside. Joy is not determined on, 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 on my happenings. I don't think that's what God has called us. Jesus said that he has come that we may have lives and have it in its fullness in it is abundance god does not have i want us to have an aspect of life he wants us to be happy he wants us to enjoy whatever he has uh, uh, given uh, to us we can chase so many things and they become vanity if we leave god out of the question and we leave the will of god out of the question. And that is why it's very important to think about what is God's desire for my life. Every job is good enough and I can do it, but is this God's will for me? Is this what God has ordained to give me happiness, to give me joy, to give me contentment, to give me satisfaction? Every nation is good for some people, but is that God's desire for you? Because some people may be happy in that nation. They have joy. They have contentment. They have satisfaction. But you, you are in the same context, but complaining. Probably because you are in the wrong position. You are in the wrong place. Maybe you are in wrong relationships. Other people are enjoying their relationships. They are happy. They are joyful, they are content, they are satisfied. You know, that's happiness now I'm talking about. But for you, you are complaining, you are regretting, you feel like you are chasing the wind. What the psalmist, uh, what Solomon is reminding us is that all these things are good, we can chase them. But if we remove the equation of God, if we remove the will of God, and I want to emphasize on that, what is the particular will of God for you? We don't just grab things. We don't just ask because they are passing. What is God's will for you? Because where God wants you to be, the people where God wants you to be with, that is where you will find your true happiness. Psalms 32 verse 11 reminds us that be glad in the Lord and rejoice, you righteous. Shout for joy, all you up who are upright in heart. It says, be glad in the Lord. Nehemiah told uh, uh, the people that go home, enjoy your food. Why? Because, and don't mourn, because he said, the joy of the Lord is your strength. So, if you are in a place where you are lacking strength, you are lacking happiness, you are just stuck, you feel you are stale in your family, you feel you are stale in your relationships, your connections, you feel you are stale in your job, in your career, you feel it's just stale to be in the place where you stay. Remember, the joy of the Lord is what will give you strength to enjoy. And stepping out to look for true happiness simply means stepping out to ask God, why, who am I? Because if I'm a car, 
and I'm being used as a knife, I will not be happy. Why am I here? If I was designed to drive people around town and I'm being used as a hammer in a workshop, then my meaning of life is not connecting and I will never be happy. I will not have joy. You know, what am I doing? What is my purpose? If what I'm doing is not adding value to my life and to the people around me, then I will not be happy. And what is the end game? Where am I going? Am I just here like uh, an instrument to be used? And once I am gone, I'll just be, you know, pushed to a, a CKM somewhere and just die and go? Or do I have something beyond life? Do I have something that excites me beyond? Am I excited about the journey of my life? True happiness comes when we are in the right position where we are standing with God.